All right, hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very fast video because this week I'm working at the Guadalajara Film Festival as an instructor for, we are providing free education in Real Engine for um, Latin audience who wants to um, learn about, you know, the engine and who wants to do a short and there are going to be prizes and it's going to be a spectacular. So, I'm going to leave the description, uh, the, all the information in the description below. So if you have a friend who is a Latin or if I have any Latin audience, I will direct you right here so you can participate. You're going to get you, you're going to have a blast. All right. But I don't want this week to go without any videos. So let's jump in into the engine and see what I can show you that is going to impress you. All right. So I want to go through uh, something that I've been uh, investigating a lot lately, and that is world partition. So what is world partition and why you should care? That is the question. All right. So there are a couple of ways of creating a new world partition world compatible. And one of those is to go to file new level. And the first two, these two right here, the open world and the empty open world are going to be ready. Um, world partition are going to be world partition ready. All right. So I'm going to create, you know, this one right here. This one will have a little bit of a map and that is going to be um, very, very good and very useful. So here it is. So the first thing that you do when you create your new map, so everything start working is to save it. If you don't save it, um, you're not going to notice, you know, any difference once you start working and inspecting uh, things out of it. So the first thing you should do is control S and I'm going to name it a uh, world, world part. And that's going to be good enough. So there are a couple of things that we will do when it's saving. And one of those is to create the um, hierarchical LOD. And we can talk later about that. And the next thing that is going to do is to create. Let me show you. So this is the, the project that, that we are right now. And if I go to content, you're going to see that there are these external actor and external objects. And everything that is around, that is inside here, you're going to see that it has the same name. And if you have more than one level that is compatible with world partitioning, you are going to have one folder for each of those. And everything inside here is what it's called a hash. And a hash is like a is a way to maintain a, a cage of everything that is inside your scenes. So we're going to check this out in a couple of minutes so you know what I mean by that. And this is what is called one file per actor. So why it is good and why do sh you should care. Uh, all right, so ignore these um, low quality texture here is an issue with the world partitioning. It doesn't matter. I want to showcase something else. All right, so let's go uh, here. All right, so you know that world partitioning is working because you have this minimap right here. And if you want to see where this minimap, if you want to summon this minimap, it is going to be on Windows, world partition, world partition editor. So it's this thing right here. So let's do something very trivial, but it's going to be very, very good and funny. So I'm going to need any static mesh. So I'm going to search my static mesh and I do seem to have, you know, this five logo and this is going to be good enough for now. So I'm going to drop this logo right here. And if I come really close here, if I say show actors, it's not going to show still because you need to first save it. And now it is there. So if you tell it to show your actors, it's going to be there. And now I'm going to be able to create maybe another one. So a copy of it. Come on, there it is. Now I have two of them. And as soon as I save them, you see that I have logo five and logo six. And they are right there, you know, for me to use. Now, 
this doesn't seem very exciting, right? Having a mini map and having all these things. Well, let me show you why it's important. So I'm going to open up this lab, this whole project another time in another Unreal Engine instance. So I'm going to simulate like if you were working with someone else and show you a little bit of the problems that is to be working with somebody in the same source project, right? So let's wait until this opens up and it should be opening up very soon and there it is. Now I can go content and so we don't, so I'm going to open up this world partition and so we don't get completely mad. I'm going to change the color of this to green, all right? So we have Mr. Green here and this guy, you know, this instance of Unreal is going to be Mr. Blue, all right? There it is. So we do have this map open into different Unreal. So Mr. Green and Mr. Blue. So Mr. Blue is working, you know, his way, merry way around, you know, moving things and rotating stuff like this, right? And now he wants to save. And this is what is going to happen. He's not going to be able to save because there is another person that is using this same map, right? And that is Mr. Green, all right? So let me see what we can do to avoid that. So I'm going to hit console because it's not going to be able to save. And I'm going to call Mr. Green and tell him, all right, I want you to unload. Um, and you can show your cell coordinates. I want you to unload minus one, minus one. So here in the size of Mr. Green, Mr. Green is going to tell you, all right, no problem. I'm going to right click, select the grid, right click, unload, the selected grid and now those fives are gone but if i go back to mr blue and mr blue type tries to save now he can save and he can continue you know making changes and stuff and now he can save again and when he's done he can tell mr green all right load up again um uh, minus one minus one and as you see everything i did on this size on this side is now on this one so this is an amazing way to collaborate and share your project with more people. This is a life savior, people. So I'm really excited about this. And let me show you just one more thing. So um, now Mr. Green wants to, you know, switch around this five also, right? So now he's going to tell Mr. Blue, Mr. Mr. Blue, right, unload your cell because I want to work with him with this. So I'm going to change this like this. And this time I'm not going to save because I want to prompt something to happen. And that is I'm going to open up, reopen the world. And that is going to prompt a save for everything that was edited. And I want you to see this because it's very curious. If I want to reopen, it's going to tell me, all right, wait, you have an actor all right that it is on you know your content external actor world partition blah 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 so what it's trying to save is not the level is the actor so it's going to only save the actor that you edit right so i'm going to hit uh cancel for now and i'm going to now grab this one and also you know move it around and i'm going to uh reopen this uh world map and now you see Everything that you're moving, it's not been recording in the level. Now, each and every one of your actors has uh, its own file. And that file is inside this hash right here in external actors. So this is like a, um, this is all compressed. So you're not going to have any sense of how this work on real wheel. And you, you got to trust, you know, in real in that sense. But now I can hit, you know, uh, save selected and that's it. Now I can tell Mr. Blue, you know, load up again your cell. And now he should have everything I did on the other side. And this is the way Unreal provides for you to start working with, you know, these huge maps at the same time. So 
For example, things like loading nested levels is not going to be possible with uh, world partitioning um, levels. E and that is because Unreal wants you to get rid of those nesting levels and work everybody on the same level at the same time. All right, so I think that is wonderful. I'm going to be doing more videos about you know world, world partitioning because it is great and it has a lot of potential and I want to keep inform, informing you about the nice things about Unreal 5. So I want to thank you all for your, you know, your comments and your views and everything. I'm really excited with the channel and you know the drill. Uh, be good, love you all and see you soon. Bye bye.